I'm going to demonstrate how you can import images or pictures from your computer to your web page. I'm a teacher who just got back from a field trip to Moab and I'd like to share a couple of pictures with parents and students. So this is how I would insert the pictures onto my web page. I would open up Adobe Contribute and this is the welcome screen I get. I would go ahead and click on Cottonwood Elementary School here, which is the website that I use, and it opens up my web page. This is the web page how an end user would see this page from an internet browser. But I want to go ahead and edit this. So I go ahead and click on the Edit Page button up here in the left-hand corner, and it's going to create a draft of this page. And it's this draft that I can work with and play with and do what I need to do. Okay, so what I want to do is I want to figure out where I want to insert my images first. I think that I'm going to insert my images after the weekly communication by me. So I'm going to click down here and then I'm going to press enter several times to give myself a little bit of space. I want to put my first picture right here where my cursor is. So the first thing I do is I go up and I click on the image button on the toolbar. And I'm going to insert these images from my computer because that's where I have the pictures stored. I have them stored in my pictures directory in a, my subdirectory or my folder called a thousand. These are the two pictures I'd like to insert. I click on the first one and I click on select. I get a warning box that tells me that the size of the picture that I have stored is larger than contribute can handle. So what it's going to do is contribute is going to resize the picture so that when the end user looks at your page, the page loads quickly. So I say OK. And there's the picture. Then I position my cursor where I would like to have my second picture inserted and I press enter a couple times and I do the same thing that I just did before. I click on the image button from my computer, click on the other picture I'd like to select, select, and there's my other picture. So I have the two pictures inserted and now I would just like to enter in a little bit of information about these pictures. Pictures from Moab field trip. Okay. And I'd like this to be a little bit um, bolder. So I'm going to highlight all the text that I want to change. And this up here, these are all the styles that I have available to me. And I want it to look like this, second page heading. So it's a little bit bolder here. Then I would also like to go down here and just type in some information about this arch. This is Corona Arch. And then I'd also like to say this is Twins Arch. Okay, I'm all ready to publish. I really like what I see. So I go ahead and click on the Publish button. And what it does, it takes my draft and it finalizes it. It will upload all the information up to the web server. And once this draft has been published, everybody who comes to your page will see the changes that you've made. Here are our pictures, and it's as easy as that. Thank you for listening.